Hello, my name is Erin Weimert. I am here in Guanella Pass in Colorado in a beautiful meadow filming for you today a gentle yoga class. So this will be a really slow flow, continuous movement, lots of attention to the breath, and we'll get the body moving in every direction. So we'll get started out in a tabletop. Bring your palms just a hair wider than shoulder width. Spread your fingers as wide as you can and bring your knees underneath your hips. As you exhale, drop your belly all the way down towards the ground and then stay for your breath and lengthen through the front of your body. On your exhale, start to curl your tail. Feel the entire spine follow as you tuck in round. Let's do it again. Slow breath in. Feel the sternum reach forward and up. And as you exhale, curl the tail. Feel the navel pull in. Shoulder blades widen. Twice more like that. Gentle, easy breath in. And a patient breath all the way out. Just once more like that. Inhale slowly, fully, and completely. And exhale, tuck and round, pull away from the earth. Inhale back to your cow pose, front of the body lifts. And as you exhale, sit your hips back towards your heels, reach the arms forward. And if you can, allow the forehead to come down towards the earth. Through your nose, find a slow breath in, expanding your back ribs, your side ribs, your front ribs. And through the nose, find a patient exhale out. Let's do one more like that. Fill the lungs, breathe fully into the nose. And an exhale, slowly let it go. Inhale back into your tabletop position. Tuck your toes, lift your knees up, and stretch your thighs back, downward facing dog. If you're feeling a little tighter in your hamstrings, the backs of your legs today, I want to invite you to do this pose with your knees bent. Think about letting your spine be your priority in terms of creating length. Press through all 10 of your knuckle pads and your finger pads. Allow the head to relax, just releasing tension from the neck. You might rock your head side to side. And then see if you can lift your hips up just a little bit higher, letting the tailbone tilt towards the sky. Focus your eyes on a single point and find a gentle breath in. And exhale all the way out. And just begin to walk towards the top of your mat. Just really slowly, no rush to get there. Bring your feet about hip width or two fist points apart. Soft or deep bend in your knees. And then weave your fingertips in between the elbow creases. Allow your head to hang. Again, you can shake your head no or yes. Just make sure that there's really no tension in the neck at all. It might feel intuitive to sway a little bit side to side. Just gently beginning to open up the joints of your spine. Allow the head to be heavy. Take one more breath in into the back of your body and a full breath out. Release your grip. As you inhale, come into a halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins. You can keep the knees bent. And as you lengthen your chest forward, find your gaze straight down so back of the neck is very long. Inhale fully. And as you exhale, fold from the hips. Allow the head to hang down. Twice more like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Gaze is down the nose. Neck is long, long, long. 
and exhale, fold. Once more like that, full breath in. Get as long as you can from tail to top of head. And exhale, fold. Bring the hands to your hips. Turn the elbow points up. And with a long spine, inhale all the way up. Feel your feet flat on the earth, connecting to your big toe mounds, pinky toe mounds, and centers of the heels. Release your arms by your sides, flip the palms forward, and spread the fingers as wide as you can. Take a big breath in, fill your lungs from top to bottom. And an exhale all the way out. Inhale, reach the arms wide out and up. If it feels okay in your neck, you can look up, maybe palms touch. And as you exhale, bring your hands to interlace behind the back. Drop your knuckles, lift your chest, find a deep breath in, lift the sternum up, chin draws in slightly. And as you exhale, bend your knees, bring your belly to your thighs, and allow the head to relax. Feel this gentle action of almost unshrugging your shoulder blades. And pause. Relax the muscles around your eyes. Soften the jaw. Now keep your grip with your hands, and as you inhale, find a halfway lift. And keep the knees bent, knuckles back, heart reaches forward. And as you exhale, release hands to the low back and down towards the ground. On your inhale, find a halfway lift. Spine is long from tail to crown. As you exhale, hands to the earth, step your left foot back to a lunge. Now, this might be a good time to grab some blocks if you're feeling a little tight in your legs, just using your blocks as arm extenders. Lift your back heel up, stretching out the left arch, and then bend your front knee over the ankle. While keeping your left hand on the ground or on a block, inhale, your left arm reaches towards the sky. Find your twist. Continue to work your right thigh bone back into the pelvis and then turn on your outer left hip to stabilize. Take one more inhale, turn the chest up. As you exhale, bring your hands to the earth or blocks and simply straighten your front leg. Okay, if your knee is a little bit bent here or maybe even a lot bent, totally fine. The intention is to just feel something in the back of your legs. Think about getting low and long in your torso, which eat with each breath in, have the intention to create length. And with each breath out, allow yourself to move into that space. Twice more like that full breath in, and a full breath out. Once more, fill the lungs and let it go. Inhale forward to your lunge. Place your palms flat on your mat and step back, tabletop position. Down on all fours. As you inhale, find cow pose, lift the chest. And as you exhale, bring hips back to heels. Let the forehead melt down. Take a deep breath in. And an exhale out. Inhale forward to your tabletop. Tuck the toes, lift the knees up. Downward facing dog. Allow tension to relax from the neck. And you might even play around with straightening the legs, again, only if that feels accessible. Breathe in fully. And a slow exhale out. And here, begin to walk towards the top of your space. 
feet hip width at the top. Inhale, find a halfway lift, get long gazes down the nose. And exhale, fold back down to the ground, relax the head. Inhale with a long spine all the way up, stretch your arms to the sky. As you exhale, bring the hands to interlace behind the back. You might bring opposite thumb on top here. As you inhale, lift the chest, arch to the upper spine slightly. And as you exhale, bend your knees deeply, belly to thighs, and we'll fold. Keep your grip with your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, gaze is down the nose. And as you exhale, release hands to low back and down towards the ground. Inhale, again lengthen, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. As you exhale, hands to the earth, step your right foot back. And if you're using blocks, this would be a good time to grab them. Shimmy your right toes back, lift your right heel up and then bend your front knee over the ankle. Check out your left big toe mound. It's that fleshy spot right underneath your big toe. Keep that grounded. And then inhale, reach your left arm towards the sky. Feel that your back right leg is still active and lifting. Left big toe mound grounded and rooted. Take one more inhale, turn your chest to the sky. As you exhale, hands to the earth or blocks, straighten the front leg as much as you can. Again, if the knee is still bent, that's totally fine. The intention here is just to get some sensation in the back of your leg. Depending on the day, for me, I might have a pretty prop-heavy practice. Right now, I happen to be in a meadow, and I don't have any blocks handy, though I might consider using them. Take a full breath in, and stay for your exhale. Just one more like that. Fill the lungs, and exhale out. Inhale to your lunge and step back to plank, palms flat on your mat. Find a breath in, exhale to tabletop, all fours. Inhale, cow pose, lift the chest. And exhale, hips to heels, draw back. Take an inhale through the nose. And an exhale out. Inhale forward to tabletop. As you exhale, lift your knees up, downward facing dog. So we'll move through that one time, linking the breath with the movement. And remember, this is a slow flow today. So take your time. You can always go slower than what I'm cueing. Soften tension from the neck. Take a deep breath in and stay for the breath out. Fill the lungs, inhale. As you exhale, start to walk towards the top of your space. Might take you a couple breaths to get there. Inhale, halfway lift, gaze down the nose and exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to the sky, stretch tall. As you exhale, hands interlace behind your back. Inhale, drop the knuckles, lift the chest, widen the collarbones. And as you exhale, bend your knees, belly to thighs, and fold. Keep your grip, inhale, halfway lift, spine is long. Exhale, hands release down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, get long out of the hips. Exhale, hands to blocks of the earth, left foot steps back. 
Inhale, right arm reaches towards the sky. Turn your chest up. And exhale, hands to the blocks or earth. Pyramid pose. Take one full breath in. And an exhale out. Inhale to your lunge. And step back to plank. Drop the knees tabletop. Inhale, cow pose. And exhale, hips to heels. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Inhale to your tabletop. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, down dog. Breathe in through the nose fully. And a gentle exhale out. Fill the lungs again. As you exhale, walk towards the top of your space. Inhale, halfway. And as you exhale, fold. Inhale, arms to the sky, reach. And exhale, hands interlace behind your back. Inhale, lift the chest, bring the shoulder blades down. And exhale, bend the knees, belly to thighs, fold. Keep your grip, inhale, halfway. And exhale, hands to the ground. Take an inhale, lengthen, chest reaches forward. And exhale, hands to blocks of the earth, right foot steps back. Inhale, left arm reaches, turn towards the sky. And exhale, pyramid pose, both legs long. Take a full breath in. And an exhale out. Inhale to your lunge. And exhale, step back, tabletop. Cow pose, breath in. And then hips to heels, breath out. Find an inhale. And stay for the exhale. Inhale to tabletop. And exhale, tuck the toes. Lift your knees, downward facing dog. Feel the inhale, fill the lungs completely. And allow the exhale to ground you more into this moment. Feel present in your body, present in your mind. On your inhale, reach the right leg up towards the sky. Feel the right toes dial down towards the ground. And on an exhale, step forward into your lunge. And if you didn't quite get the foot through, you can just grab the foot and bring ankle under the knee. Spin your back heel down to the ground, setting up for warrior two. And inhale, open. Feel your right toes dead ahead, left toes directly to the side, and we're either heel to heel or heel to arch. Allow your pelvis to naturally turn towards the top of the mat, and then feel your ribs square to the left side of your mat. And just find a few rounds of breath, allowing tension to release from your upper back. As you inhale, straighten the front leg, reach your arms high, palms touch. As you exhale, re-bend your front knee, hands to the center of the chest. As you inhale, straighten the front leg, reach your fingertips out from the chest. Exhale, re-bend the front knee, arms out wide. Inhale, reach up, palms touch. And exhale, hands to chest, re-bend the front knee. 
Inhale, extend, fingertips reach out. And exhale, arms reach wide, rebend into the front knee. Once more, deep breath in. And an exhale out of the nose. Inhale, extend. And exhale, open wide. Take a full breath in here. As you exhale, bring your right forearm to your right thigh. Stretch your left arm straight up. And then bend your left elbow. Bring the hand behind your back. Allow your left hip to turn forward as you work your right thigh back. And then just feel both of your shoulder blades drawing down towards the pelvis. Both of your collarbones lifting up to the chin. And if it feels okay in your neck, see if you can gently take the gaze up. Find a full breath in and a full breath out. Extend your front leg. Bring your arms out to a T. And then reach your right arm up by your ear. Palm faces back to your left hand. Bring your left hand up to grab the right wrist. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, rebend your front knee and find a supported reverse warrior. Feel that you're not collapsing into your left side body. Rather, you're lengthening out of the left side. And as you pull the right wrist up, bring your right shoulder blade down in opposition. Take one more inhale, reach. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. Pop your back heel up. And then walk your right foot outside of the right hand. Place the palms flat, maybe on blocks if you need. And bring the left knee down towards the ground. So if your back foot is behind the right knee, see if you can maybe shimmy the foot forward, getting your heel under the knee, or maybe even slightly in front if you have the room. Again, great place to use blocks. Now as you drop the hips, find an inhale, lift the chest up. And as you exhale, pull the hips back and find a little cat spine tucking round. Release the hips again. Inhale. And as you exhale, pull away, tucking round. One more time. Slow breath in. And an exhale out. Come back into your lunge. Find an inhale through the nose. And through the nose, exhale. From here, slide the right foot back to tabletop. Inhale, cow pose. And as you exhale, come to cat, tuck and round. Come back to a long spine. And as you inhale, reach the right arm to the sky, turn the chest up. And as you exhale, reach your right arm underneath the left. Now, if you can't get your weight onto your right ear and your right shoulder, you can just come down to the right form. Otherwise, see if you can come all the way through. And then either you can reach your left palm forward like you're in a down dog shape. Or you can reach your left arm behind your back. And maybe you can tickle or grab onto your right thigh. Let go of any gripping in the hips. Just let the pelvis turn how it wants to move. If it feels okay in you, your neck, you might bring left shoulder blade down and turn your chest up, pressing into the top of the right arm, opening up. Find two more breaths here. One more inhale. As you exhale, release your left palm to your eye line. Inhale, right palm to tabletop. As you exhale, come into cat tuck and round. Inhale to cow pose. 
As you exhale, hips to heels, stretch back. Find a full breath in and an exhale out. Inhale to tabletop, tuck the toes. As you exhale, lift your knees up, downward facing dog. As you inhale, focus the eyes. And as you exhale, soften your gaze. On your inhale, start to stretch your left leg up, left toes dial down. Feel that you're lifting from the base of your left seat or left glute. And on an exhale, find a big step forward to your lunge. Again, if you didn't quite get the ankle forward under the knee, you can always use your hand or just shimmy the foot forward. Drop your right heel flat, setting up for warrior two. And inhale, open. See you exhale, settle into your stance. Again, feel that your left knee is tracking over the middle toes. Right hip is turning forward slightly. Soften through the elbows, lengthen the spine, lengthen the crown. And just find a couple breaths, committing to both of your feet equally. As you inhale, extend your front leg, reach the arm straight up. And as you exhale, re-bend the front knee, hands to your chest. On your inhale, extend left leg, reach the fingertips away from you. Exhale, re-bend the knee, warrior two. Let's do it again. Inhale, reach, get long from tail to crown. Exhale, hands to heart, re-bend knee over ankle. Inhale, extend the legs, fingertips reach out. And exhale, arms go wide. Warrior two. Once more, inhale through the nose, gentle exhale. Inhale, reach and extend. And exhale, warrior two. Find a full breath in. And exhale, left forearm to left thigh. Reach the right arm straight up. Flip the right palm back behind you and bring the hand behind the back or maybe reaching for your left thigh. And then notice if it feels like you're collapsing into the left elbow or left side body. See if instead you can press into the elbow and get longer in your left side while allowing your pelvis to continue to turn slightly to the top of the mat. Feel your left ribs spin open towards the sky. If it feels okay in your neck, you might take your gaze up, keeping the chin a little closer to the chest. Take one more breath in and an exhale out. Inhale to straight legs, arms to a T. And this day for the exhale, relax your upper back. Flip your left palm up, inhale the left arm high. And as you exhale, grab your left wrist with your right hand. Big breath in, get long out of the waist. And as you exhale, bend your front knee back to 90 degrees. As you inhale, start to pull your left arm up and back. As you exhale, bring your left shoulder blade down in opposition. Feel that you're not collapsing into the right side body. Rather, you're lengthening out of right side body. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale, hands to the earth or blocks. Pop the back heel up. Walk your left foot outside of the left hand. And drop the back knee down. So again, find that your left ankle is underneath the left knee. Again, palms can be on blocks for sure. 
As you inhale, drop the hips, lift the chest up. And as you exhale, pull the hips away, tuck and round. Let's do it again. Inhale, breath, lift and lengthen. As you exhale, draw away from the earth, tuck and round like cat pose. One more time, slow inhale and exhale, tuck and round. Inhale back to your lunge and stay for the exhale. Start to slide your left foot back to tabletop. Inhale to cow pose and exhale to cat. Come back to a long spine. Inhale, your left arm reaches. And exhale, thread your left arm underneath the right. Again, if shoulder and ear don't come down, you can come to your left forearm. Otherwise, as you thread the left arm through, you can reach your arm forward like you're in a down dog shape. Or bring your right hand behind your back. Again, see if you can let go of any gripping in your hips. You might find that your hips naturally swing towards the right. That's okay. And if it feels okay in your neck, you, not, you might press through your outer left shoulder and arm to turn the chest up. If that bothers your neck at all, don't do it. Just an option to open the upper back a little bit more. Take a full breath in and a really easy breath out. One more time, deep breath in, and exhale. Release the right palm to eye line, inhale. Exhale your left palm to tabletop. Inhale to cow pose, and exhale, hips to heels. Take an inhale, breath, fill the lungs. As you exhale, walk your hands towards the right, arms to the right. It's coming into a little bit of a side stretch, allowing the left ribs to breathe and expand. Direct your breath into your left lung. Big inhale and an exhale out. Return to center, find a breath in and exhale, arms to the left. As much as you comfortably can, allow your right ribs to bow out and expand. Inhale back to center. And as you exhale, let the hips draw back. Inhale back into your tabletop. And as you exhale, either cross your ankles or spin your shins around, coming into a seat. And from here, extend your legs out. If you're feeling a little tighter today, sometimes it can be nice to sit on a blanket. And from here, bend the right knee. And as you lift the right foot up, maybe you grab a hold of it, turn the right knee out to the right, and lay your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Keep your foot flexed and active. And then lean back into your fingertips or palms and see if you can start to bend your left knee, planting the left foot flat. And if you want a little bit more sensation, you can always bring your left foot closer. If you want less, you can move it a little further away. You can always try coming up onto your fingertips or blocks if you need behind you. And from here, just feel that your collarbones are lifting up, your shoulder blades are drawing down. And just find a few rounds of breath into your outer right hip. Inhale. 
Inhales, allowing you to get longer in the chest. And exhales, maybe you press the heart forward. Take another breath in. As you exhale, release the left leg. Grab onto your right leg and let that go. And start to draw the left heel in. Grab the foot, turn the left knee out and place left ankle on top of right. You can stay here or maybe lean back and start to slide the right foot in. And it's really tempting to want to arch and round here. But see if you can work towards lengthening collarbones up, shoulder blades draw down. And just finding a really long, light, wide, broad, open chest. Again, see if you can direct your breaths in and out of the nose. Toning the throat. Let's just slow it down a little bit. Take one more breath in. As you exhale, release the right leg and release your right foot. Plant your left foot flat and your right foot flat. Bring your hands behind you, either fingertips face out to the sides. Or if you have a little more room to work with, you can turn the fingertips in. And you'll see that my heels are slightly in front of my knees. Find a big breath in, lift the chest. As you exhale, dig through your heels, lift the hips up. And they might just lift up a couple inches, or maybe they come in line with the knees. Find a soft bend through your elbows, just like we did in figure four. Last pose, bring shoulder blades down, collarbones up. And just feel the chest expanding outside of the shoulders expanding. Find one more breath in. And as you exhale, Lower the hips down. Extend your legs long. Inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, reach forward, either grabbing outer edges of the feet, or you might just be grabbing outer edges of the legs today. On your inhale, lengthen the chest up. As you exhale, fold. Feel the belly button pull in towards the spine. Inhale, reach the arms high, lengthen shoulders over hips. As you exhale, reach forward and fold. Inhale, extend the chest up like a halfway lift. And as you exhale, draw the belly button closer to the spine and fold. One more like that deep breath in. And as you exhale, reach as far as you can and fold. Inhale, find a halfway lift. And as you exhale, fold. Now hold here. Let's find about three rounds of breath in and out of the nose. Easy, gentle breaths. Slowly inhale back up. And as you exhale, cross your ankles in front of you. And you might sit on a block here if this feels like you're falling backwards. And then see if you can lean back, getting shoulders over the hips. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, bring your left hand to your right knee, twisting towards the right. Feel that from the bottom of the spine to the top of your spine, you're long and tall. And then you really use your inhales to find a deeper sense of length. And as you exhale, see if you can use that length to move into the next edge of your twist. And we don't want to feel like we're cranking the spine into the twist or forcing it. Just sort of teasing our edge, finding our boundaries. 
Two more breaths, lengthening on your inhales and twisting on your exhale. Once more, deep breath and exhale. Inhale back to center and exhale right hand to left knee. Place the left fingertips behind you. Feel that both of your hips are heavy into the mat. And inhales, getting longer from your tail to the top of the head. And as you exhale, just twisting or having the intention of twisting deeper. So it might not be a big move physically. It might be something that you feel more energetically. Slow breath in and exhale out. One more like that. Inhale, lift through the top of the head. Keep that lift and exhale, release. Inhale back to center. And as you pause and center, switch out the crossing of your legs. We're going to end with just a minute or two, a little bit of breath work. And so as we breathe, we'll do this with the eyes closed. Breath work can be much more potent when it becomes an internal experience. And we'll inhale for six. We'll pause for four. We'll exhale for eight. And then pause for two. So go ahead, close the eyes, sit up tall, find the bottom of your next exhale, and then inhale, two, three, four, five, six, pause there, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and pause, two, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pause, two, Inhale. And pause. Exhale. And pause. Inhale for six. Pause for four. Exhale for eight. And pause for two. Let's find two more rounds on your own. Finish this round of breath and just begin to breathe normally and naturally. And you're welcome to stay here for a minute or two, just sitting in silence, being with yourself. You're welcome to lay on your back for Shavasana if that works better for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.